Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. Welcome to this week's guide where I am going to talk about how I track loot from rares. And it's not just like gold or, or anima or stuff like that. I'm talking about transmog. I'm talking about pets. I'm talking about any type of collectible item that you could possibly get from rares and which anything you can think of actually can come from rares depending on what the expansion is. So we're going to look at exactly how I keep track of that, because if you really think about it, there are a lot of rares in each expansion. And each rare, almost each rare, will drop something interesting. Can drop something interesting. Not every rare does, but most of them have something interesting. And even in recent expansions, they have things that are unique to those rares that you cannot get in other places, specifically like transmog or mounts or stuff like that. So with so many rares, how, how do I know what I have and haven't done and how do I keep track of that? Because that can certainly be a little overwhelming. So that's what we're going to look at. So I like to use Silver Dragon. That's the first one and the main one that we're going to be messing with the most. I also like to use Handy Notes. And Handy Notes is, by itself, it needs multiple plugins, depending on what expansion you want. So like this one for Battle for Azeroth, uh, there's a couple for Shadowlands. I have two for that one, Shadowlands Treasures, and then just Shadowlands. There's Legion Treasures, etc, etc. We're going to walk through this together, because I am going to reset my Silver Dragon. That way you can see kind of what I'm talking about. So if we go down to, if I can remember where it was, I just looked at it. Here it is, profiles. I'm going to just hit reset here. And that should have brought everything back into existence. Yes, it looks like it did. Now the reason I did that is A, I need to go through this. It's time for my annual cleanup of making sure that everything is tracked correctly. So let's look at Silver Dragon. Real quick here. Now what Silver Dragon is technically, it's not just a rare tracker for your map. It's also an add-on that will alert you to any rares that are come up in the vicinity. A little screen will pop up in the corner here and alert you like, hey, uh, Deathbinder Hroth whatever is up. Go kill it. You know, stuff like that. Um, so I like to have scan interval at one because I want that fairly often, and I like to up. Oh, see? <laughs> so, that's something we'll get to in a second, but that's what it looks like. Uh, that was obnoxious, but that's because that's its default setting. Uh, I like to set the recording delay to 60. If I can get it. I'll type it in. 60. There we go. So every minute it will record. Uh, and this is how often it alerts you to rares. So like even if it's the same rare, it'll keep alerting you, which is fine. I want scan in instances. I want scan on taxis. That's like when you're flying around and stuff. Um, chat's enabled by default. You can make a macro if you want. I never use it though, honestly. All these are on by default. Vignettes. Most of this stuff I leave as default. Uh, you don't actually have to really customize it much, which is kind of nice. Um, mobs, you should definitely have everything on if you want to ignore specific expansions. Alright, alright, Luna Light Pod, I get it. <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, uh, yeah, so you can turn off, you can ignore sp entire expansions, you can ignore it by, um, like, achievements, but I never actually mess with any of that, I leave it all on. And outputs here before it goes off again. I'm going to turn off treasures. <laughs> That's what this thing was whining about. It's telling me about this treasure. If you want it to announce treasures to you, you absolutely can have it do that. I don't like having treasures. Um, because I'm going to see them on my minimap anyways. And the only thing I'm interested in being yelled at about is the rares. So here for outputs. This is where we're going to adjust some things. I want already found. Include transmog. I want instances on. I don't want treasures on. Because that gets a little old. Now sound, I actually turn sounds off. I don't want sounds. Um, just because I don't need the, the sound, like I usually can see the pop-up quite clear. 
uh, visually. Uh, but if you want sound, you can have sound for all the different kinds of stuff. You can read it. It's it's very tells you exactly what to do. The flash I leave on default. Messages I like setting to raid warning. That'll make a it pop up here where I'm pointing out, you know, a typical raid warning spot. And the marker, instead of a diamond, I like having the skull. This marks the mob for you if it's if you're in front of it. Uh, that way you can clearly see it. Um, so for the most of the rest of this, I leave as is, except for the map overlay here. We want on show quest complete. This way I see everything. Um... Skulls is good. I'm going to turn up the world map alpha to huge right now because we're going to mess with it. That way we can see it. And mini map is fine at one. Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. All oh, this is. Oh, we want to pop out loot window. This is one of their newer features um, that I've noticed that is really, really handy. I really like that. And I'll show you that when we go find a rare later. Range extender is fine. Waypoints are fine. Alright, uh, let's see. There was one more thing I wanted to adjust. Where was it? You can adjust the look of the box. Um, I'm trying to remember where it was. I did this last night. You know, to make myself prepared, but go figure. I've already forgotten where it was. Let's see. Was it click target? Ah, yes. Here it is. This will change the look of your box, and you can change where the anchor is. I like mine right here, because that's a good spot. Nothing's in the way. And I'm going to go with the Nazoth option, because I'm a big Old God fan. And you'll see what that looks like when that pops up. Alright, so... Yep, this is all fine. Yeah, so the rest of that is good. We're going to leave that there, and for handy notes, every handy notes little addition is going to be different. But looking at Shadowlands treasures specifically, um, I like having show found, show inaccessible, and that's pretty much good there. Because I want, let's see, let's turn on all these. I want to see everything, visually. So we're actually also going to pop over to, we're just going to use, we'll say, like, Legion Treasures. We're going to turn up, turn up the icon for that. And same with Shadowlands Treasures. So those are now massive. I don't normally like them that big. But we're going to do that that way. You see how huge they are. Um, because we're going to mess with these directly. Which is what I'm getting to. This is what I'm getting to here exactly. I'm walking you through this so that hopefully you can kind of see how I go about that. Because... I wanted to do my yearly cleanup and make sure that I'm on track for things. So using Arden Wield here as an example, let's move to the next step. Now that everything is big and reset and pretty and waiting for us to do stuff with it, what am I going to do with this? So if I mouse over Soul Twister Zero over here, we can see that it has a staff. I am a paladin. I cannot learn this staff. So since I am on this specific character, my main, a paladin, um, I cannot loot this. I mean, I can loot the staff, but I can't learn it. But you also see, it also has a couple things on it. It shows that it's for an achievement. Adventure of Arvin, Arvinwield. <laughs> Ardenwield, which says need, which means I need to kill Siltuser Zero. It also says the quest for it isn't complete. Now, the quests part you can kind of ignore because not every rare has a quest tied to it. Uh, I don't know why that's on there by default, but you can ignore it even if it says complete. But when it says need, you need that for an achievement. Um, so I'm going to leave this one up because I need it. Now you can see this white skull. That is handy notes. The colored ones that are pretty nice looking are from Silver Dragon. Now, I want both of these, and I know this could look like overkill, and it is a little bit, but the reason I want both Handy Notes and Silver Dragon is because not everything is covered by just one. They both cover rares and treasures for multiple expansions, 
But sometimes some rares aren't covered, or like their loot isn't shown in one of the add-ons for some reason, but the other one will have it. Or locations, like a uh, Silver Dragon shows patrols, paths, and stuff. Um, but sometimes Handy Notes gives more information. So that's why I like both, because I want to make sure that I have done everything, because I want to collect everything. I'm that person. So even though this one here shows that there are two more things I can get from this specific rare uh, that are BOE, I'm going to go ahead and actually untrack it. Because I am going to do cloth and all that on other characters. This is just my plate character. Which is also my main. So it's the one that's going to be doing all the achievements and things as well. So. You can jump to the next one here and see that Ritrive has a shield. I have killed it for the achievement. But I did not get the shield from it. So I'm going to leave it. And I think you kind of get the idea. Now here's a treasure. Here's something different a little bit from the rares, but it's kind of the same idea. You see how down there at the bottom left of the map, everything it says is in green. I have looted the Swollen Anima Seed, I have completed the Achievement Treasures of Ardenweald, and I've completed the quest. So because of that, see how this Treasures of Ardenweald is green? Now this is a nice little option that actually most of the expansions don't have, but I've noticed it in a couple of them, like BFA and Shadowlands. You can hide all of them if you've done it. Like, I know for a fact, I have indeed looted all of these treasures. And hovering over each little treasure node will tell you. And how you'll know, like, when you haven't done something. Let's look at this one right here. A naughty story. See, that's a book. You go collect these book floaty flying things around the zone. I have not completed that achievement, but I have done the naughty story one. Love that I, that's the one I picked. Uh, but I've not completed the Fractured Fairy Tales achievement. So that means somewhere, uh, there's one. A Wandering Tale. That's one I'm missing. So I'm going to uncheck this one. I'm going to hide it. But I don't want to hide all of them. You see how that's red? Yeah. So we're going to hide that one specifically. And that got rid of all those nodes because I've done the naughty tale. As opposed to this one where it says it's green. I know I've already done this. So now that you kind of get how that works, you can go through. That's what I'm going to do off screen. And I can start hiding and cleaning up and making sure that I have done, you know, all of these. Like this one here. I've not killed the mystic unicorn. I've not got the, uh, the soul off of that, etc, etc, etc. And that's not just for Shadowlands. You can do this for any expansion. So let's go look like at the Broken Isles here. Uh, let's look at Argus. Argus is a great uh, expansion zone for collecting stuff. A lot of unique weapons come from this one here. You can see that this one is one I don't have. That axe. That's a pretty cool looking axe. Or we've got uh, Commander Vakea. I do know her sword. That's a pretty neat looking sword. And see, this is what I was talking about before. These weapons are unique, both in model and color. And you can only get them from these specific rares. But since I know this one, I'm going to go ahead and hide it. Now, see, I have to reset the handy notes for this as well to make sure I'm all complete. But you get the idea, I hope. So that that's how you can use handy notes and Silver Dragon in conjunction to manually go through and make sure that I am actually collecting all this stuff correctly. And then I can just start hiding things that I either can't learn, like this is a cloth hood, I don't know it, but this character can't learn it. So I just hide it. And that's like, for me, this is like a checklist. I can start hiding things like Bullwinkle. I'm not a hunter, that's like a good hunter pet, um, but it doesn't help me any on this paladin. Uh, let's see, those are sh leather shoulders. Uh, that's a trinket. That doesn't really help me any, so I don't need it. Let's see, that's a male helmet, etc., etc. And look, that's starting to look a little cleaner. And then, you know, when I go to a zone and I see a clean zone or I only see like one or two skulls, I know exactly what I need to go target. Now, with all that information, I can start going through everything. I can start hiding things. I can start looking and seeing what I do and don't 
need to continue farming. Like this guy here, Wriggle Mortis, I have killed it, but it did not give me the pull arm that it actually drops. And I can learn that on this specific character, so I'm going to leave it. Because that means I, if, I, if I go by Wriggle Mortis, I can fly down there, we're not far from it. If I go by Wriggle Mortis and he's up, I will know that I need to go kill him. Because it has a pull arm that I don't have. Which is super good. Because that's a cool pull arm. And to my knowledge, that pull arm, that color of it, is unique. There are other pull arms like it in the game. But this specific color is rather nice. And it's unique to uh, to this rare. So let's see if he's up. Look at that! Beautiful. And now this is where the pop-out thing I was talking about earlier. You can click on this here. Look at that. Look at that. And my little raid warning is working nicely. So let's pull this guy. Let's summon Wriggle Mortis. And maybe we'll get lucky. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Now you can see even in my tooltip while I'm hovering over this guy. Oh look, I get some help. Neat. Um you can see that it says the item it drops is the Thorns for Scythe. There's an X on it. That is Silver Dragon telling me that either Silver Dragon or uh, any notes or, or both maybe telling me that I need stuff. I also have already defeated this for the Adventure of Ardenweald, but it's not green, which means I have not finished that achievement, which is good. We loot. Didn't I get the polearm, but that's okay because I know I need to come back for this guy later and look. The skull is still there because I have it tr set to track already found stuff like I showed you earlier. Now you can click that off so you know when you've like perhaps killed it for the day. But I like leaving it on just because I mentally know when I've seen it. And the tooltip also tells you here when you last saw it. And if I saw it, it's highly likely I killed it. So <laughs> I think I've rambled more than long enough on that. Uh, this video was way longer than I was intending. But hopefully this helps you kind of get an idea on how I like to keep track of all this stuff. Because there's a lot. There is a lot from all of these expansions. And this is not just for Shadowlands. You can do it for any any at all any at all like we have outland here like i'm not gonna track that one because it says i need it i need to learn something i've killed that one but i still need the the vambraces from it you know so on and so forth so that's pretty cool and that's literally how i do it so i am going to go clean up my stuff off screen now and hopefully this helps you out and there we have it if you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.